may not be suitable for all audiences. I would start at the beginning, but I think I need to go farther back. Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. Scholars, welcome back to Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger, America's favorite art teacher. I'm a professional artist and educator attempting to provide the best in art historical content. If you like it, make sure you interact. Thanks. You have clothes like a f***ing dickhead. The Stone Age produced many mysteries that we're still trying to unravel. Today, we're going to jump into one of those on the Venuses of the Stone Age. There have been centuries of investigations and debates on where art really started, but we really don't have any answers. But one thing that we do know is that over 35,000 years ago, in the Holofels cave system of southwestern Germany, prehistoric artists would pick up a tusk of a mammoth and carve an early depiction of another human being. There's a lot of mystery around the Venus of Holofels, and any way you slice it, it's a rather unique object. You're not going to find this in old art history books because it wasn't even discovered until 2008. There were six fragments that were discovered in this cave system underneath layers of silt that was over 10 feet deep below the floor level of the cave. This Paleolithic object was among many that were found in this cave. And this very small carving somehow survived underneath all of this material for so long. It's just interesting to me that now it's a part of our better understanding of what the prehistoric folks would have been creating artistically. Having news is great! I love news! I'm like the cookie monster with news! News! Nom 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 nom! This is a headless figure that was likely worn as some sort of a necklace or pendant or some sort of decorative object that would have been in some way, shape, or form worn. The scratched in fingers are almost non-existent in comparison to the other bulging curves of this particular figure. There are lines that depict some sort of clothing and appendages are but stumps. Now, could those have been worn away or was this the original design? Well, quite honestly, we don't know. But without question, her curves and sexual features seem to be the most dominant. There's been a hundred years of research on the meaning of Venus figurines. And I think at a simplistic level, it's clear that there's a connection between sexuality and reproduction. And it changes our way of looking at things and suggests that reproduction, fecundity, are key parts of what people were thinking about at that time. Well, I'm not required to explainify my past romantical excursions. This is my band. So that makes us believe that this is some sort of fertility Venus or artwork that focuses on giving power or something in the neighborhood of fertility. During the Paleolithic time periods, we have uncovered all sorts of Venus figures throughout Europe. The Venus of Willendorf in Austria, the Venus of Mopazi in France, the Venus of Doni Vasunatsa in the Czech Republic, as well as the Venus of Savignano in Italy. The meaning of these figures has really been the subject of a lot of debate amongst scholars and archaeologists and art historians and all kinds of groups that have a interest in these objects, but they are commonly believed to be symbols of fertility that were so significant that they put a lot of time, effort, and energy into the process of carving them using the primitive tools that they would have had to construct specifically to create these sculptures. Today in our world, we think of these upper Paleolithic Europeans as these male Ice Age hunters trying to hunt down all kinds of megafauna, including the woolly mammoths that likely produced the ivory where this was likely to be carved. And we have a little crack in the door that we can see through to the iconography, the importance of the female person and clues to what the Stone Age life was like and what they found to be important 
and whether we're looking at other examples like the Loven Mensch or Lion Man from Germany or any one of a number of examples where the focus of the work was really repopulation of society and culture even tens of thousands of years ago. Scholars, I hope you enjoy that as much as I love being able to bring it to you. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time. You have yourself a great day. What year is it? 1987. Oh my God. I know.